and welcome back to Let's Play um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, since the last episode, what I got was the Rune Sword, which is an extremely rare drop from the Dodo Bird enemy. Um, yeah, so let me show you the weapon. As you can see, it has an extremely long range, and its attack is also extremely powerful. Also, notice the word to get spelled out when the sword attacks. Um, this word is called verboten. Okay, that's probably not how you pronounce it, but it basically means forbidden in German. Unfortunately, in my opinion, this sword is far too powerful. Um, it almost breaks the game like the Crusagum does, so I won't be using it. So, let's keep going. So what I want to do now is um, head through this door, it will take us into the black marble gallery again. Here we get a save point. Um, I don't know why I just transformed into the wolf. I think I just pressed the wrong button or something. Um, as you can see, we're now back at this part of the black marble gallery that we were in before yeah um i'm gonna see now if i can defeat one of these guardians they drop about um 5000 experience i think oh so the guardian obviously has guard against most of the elements yeah so guardians are basically one of the best methods to level up until after you reach level 60 because then they will probably start dropping um, experience in the hundreds range so that probably won't get you to that probably won't get you any levels fast enough but then again you probably don't want to get so many high levels anyways because um, this game is easy enough as it is and if you actually bother to reach level 100 which will probably take a very long time um you'll basically be able to destroy everything so 
So what I want to do is hit up this passage here and um, that will take us into the underground caverns or well the floating underground caverns if that makes any sense. Yep, that basically takes us to another save point. So I want to head here first. Here we get a life max up, and we can once again also break this wall to get a diamond. Okay, this passage is annoying because yeah it's literally infested with balloon pods and well the main problem with defeating them is they will release their poison spores yeah like that so I suggest you don't try to defeat them so that you don't have to deal with their poison um, pods I guess and no I do not want the axe And here, I guess there's like one imp in that room. I don't know why or how we got there. Yeah, imps usually travel in groups, so I have no idea why there are single ones there. Um, I don't know what that balloon pod is doing in the ground. Okay, so we are now in the actual cavern part of the underground caverns, but um, let's head back down here first. So this passage took us back to, um, in the first castle, this passage took us to where we fought the succubus. Obviously, she won't be there anymore. And there we got another heart max up. There are a lot of power-ups in this game. Um, so that might be one of the reasons why it's so easy. Ow. And just like last time, all of these pots, I guess, also contain meal tickets, which is once again really weird. And here is where the soup quest was before. Um, you can get infinite pe peanuts in this room. Now, peanuts are quite difficult to eat, basically, when you use them, you throw them up in the air. Then you must get under the peanut and press up and then press the attack button and you'll be able to eat the peanut and recover 50 health. So that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony Night. I'll see you next time.